Has Meghan Markle just got fired from her PR firm, WMA? And furthermore, is Netflix going to be next to put her on the chopping block? up everyone it's me steph the alt nerd your nerdy alternative and welcome to the dose of the daily nerd why break down the royal news and gossip of the day that's pretty much got me eye and oh my goodness yeah let's jump into this madness shall we because has megsy just got fired from a pr firm wme and furthermore is netflix going to be next to put her on the chopping block well, firstly, let's discuss WME and what the deuce is going on there. Thanks to Royally Sage at Sage1411 for sharing this blind item on Twitter. If you're not following them on Twitter, do so now. To me, they share the best blind items. Now, this one is from Second Hand Cook. And they say, well, we know she creates her own press and pays for it. And if there's a press that there are money issues with a source close to the Sussexes, it would have to be Megan telling it because no one is going to discuss their financial issues other than her. But their PR push has ended. We've had this glorious quiet lately and it's because she's in arrears to WME, just like she was in arrears when Sunshine Sachs dropped her. Now, first and foremost, because this is a blind item, do your own research, come to your own conclusions. But to me, this blind item is giving us essentially two clues as to why there's a belief that WME has fired or dropped Megsy at this point. The first one is the blind item turning around and saying that Megsy is now going to the press to discuss the financial issues and it can only be her that's doing it. Well, okay, but why don't she have a representative from WME speaking to the press on her behalf? That's partly what an agency does. Interesting, right? The second clue that gives the belief that WME has fired or um, dropped Megsy is towards the end of this blind item, it says we've had this glorious quiet lately. Now, this is the thing, right, guys? We've all seen the headlines. The state of Megsy and Hazard's marriage. Um, the state of their Netflix contract, which we're going to get onto shortly, so stay tuned how they're not happy with her show, how they're not happy with his show, and other things that's going on in the press against Megsy and Hazard. We're not seeing that many counterattacks. We're not seeing that many articles coming out in defense of Megsy and Hazard. As this blind item is saying, we've had this glorious quiet lately. I would have expected WME in the face of all these headlines against Megsy and Hazard to be working overtime to try and counter it all. But they're not doing that. Why? Could it be that WME has fired and dropped Megsy so they're not doing it because of that? Interesting, right? Now, underneath uh, Royally Sage's post here, we have Catherine at Catherine in FL. And they say, I don't think WME represents her. They protect their clients to protect their reputation. WME didn't attempt to protect her Hollywood Reporter article and it would make their other clients nervous as a result, saying, what if they won't protect me or they no longer have power to protect me? Ergo, WME bailed on her. Now, I reported on this a couple of weeks back, right, when the Hollywood Reporter article landed and there was this response from Team Megsy, from Team Sussex. The thing is, though, the response to me was quite striking. It was striking because of the publication that was used for the response in the first place, which was this, US Weekly. Now, it said that Ari Emanuel at WME has the keys to basically everywhere in Hollywood, right? So if they were going to do a counterattack, a counter defense against the Hollywood Reporter, why do it in a lesser publication that's not as respected as something like The Hollywood Reporter. Instead, why didn't they counter that article in a higher, much more respected publication that's equal to or better than The Hollywood Reporter? So you're talking like Tatler, Deadline, those kind of, you know, industry publications. And as I mentioned at the time, could it be that WME is sick and tired of her and they've dropped her? 
So Megsy has had to scrounge around and go at the bottom of the barrel and go to US Weekly to do her counterattack. Just asking for a friend, guys. I'm just asking for a friend. Now, the other thing that struck me in terms of this blind item is the bit at the end. It's because she's in arrears to WME, just like she was in arrears when Sunshine Sachs dropped her. Now, for those that don't know, okay, Megsy and Hazard tried to do this puff piece as far as I'm concerned in the media a couple of years back, uh, saying that, yeah, they've dropped uh, Sunshine uh, Sachs. Uh, they're not going to be her PR company anymore. Uh, this is a really big deal for Megan Asos is saying she takes the view that she doesn't need to pay an outside firm a lot of money to do PR for her and Harry anymore. Okay, well, why then did she pay money to WME? Explain hiring WME then at that point as far as I'm concerned. Now, rumours on the grapevine uh, for the last few years has been actually the Sunshine Sachs dropped or stroke fired Megsy. Why? Because she didn't pay them. You've got Patty Sharon here on Quora saying how his wife allegedly routinely did not c consider input from Sunshine Sachs. Again, a similar rumor with WME. We're hearing the same rumors. Megsy is just not listening to WME and their advice and she just goes her own way no matter what. Patty then says she did what she thought best, including the interview with Cup Magazine, which motivated Sunshine Sachs to dump her. Further, Harry's wife didn't pay Sunshine Sachs as agreed. You then have Morella Britton saying, I read somewhere that the two scrounging grifters did not settle their account, despite several requests from Sunshine Sachs. So they actually had a loss and worked for nothing. And then you have Elizabeth Thorpe, the vice president at Sunshine Sachs, actually speaking out against Mexi saying Megan wants to do the international superstar things, not the community centre opening on a wet Wednesday in Stokes on Trent. She wants to shield Duke and Duchess merch on QVS to Kardashianize the monarchy. And saying, I've heard not very nice things about her, Megsy, from people in Hollywood. Not sure she is good people. I hope I'm wrong. To me, this is the equivalent of that Spotify executive, Bill Simmons, turning around and saying that Megsy and Azza are effing grifters. Yeah, she ain't getting the good reputation in Hollywood at all. Hollywood cannot stand her. Hollywood at this point just wants to drop her one by one. And so we have this blind item that indicates that WME has fired and dropped Megsy. And now is Netflix next to put her on the chopping block? Because we have reports here of tensions emerging over Hazard and Megsy's Netflix polo documentary with Netflix bosses actually unhappy that Hazard's not actually in it that much for the five-part series. A source claiming that Netflix bosses have been disappointed with just how much the final edit focuses on the unknown, saying that the streaming giant expected more bang for its book. And it hardly features Hazard at all instead focusing on his friend Nacho Figueras, a little-known Argentinian player. Now, he's well-known in the polo scene, but in terms of, let's say, the wider audience, unless you're into polo, or unless you're heavily into the Hazard and Megsy situation, you pretty much know the ins and outs and you do your research, does anyone really know who Nacho is or his existence? Opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever, no. And Netflix, as far as I'm concerned, based on this article, is taking the same view and has the same issues. Not only that, but Netflix is seriously unhappy for you to believe the reports with Megsy and her own series. As now they're pushing back a cooking show until 2025. They're really, really not happy with her. And we now have a PR guru warning Megsy saying, look, she needs to pull this off because she's had too many failures. And this is her $100 million Netflix show, which is going to either make or break this Netflix contract. And there have been rumors going around and they have been absolutely intensifying throughout this year as we're getting closer and closer and closer to it. The at renewal when it comes to Netflix and they're discussing the contract yeah, word on the street, Netflix ain't going to renew. 
Netflix is going to go the way that WME has allegedly just done, which is firing Meg Zienhazer and dropping them like they're hot shiz. With that being said, if you appreciated this video and you want more, and believe me, of course, there's going to be more, you do not want to miss my next video, then make sure you subscribe to join our Alt and Nerd tribe, because I'll be honest with you, help us now get to a million so we can also get that go play button right there and hopefully cause a Meghan Markle meltdown on Instagram. Like, share, comment down below your opinion, conspiracy theories, whatever. And just as a little side note, for those that don't know, in our community at the moment, it looks like we are suffering from a YouTube purge now you may be asking what is that well youtube from time to time likes to take your youtube account and unsubscribe you from channels without your permission and without your knowledge it's something that they do as far as i'm concerned it's wrong However, it looks like that's what's happening at the moment. So please do make sure that you are still subscribed to this channel. And for those that aren't, please do subscribe so we can take two fingers up at YouTube and be like, not today, Satan. With that being said, if any of you have any strong opinions on whether you now think WME has fired and dropped Megzi, and I bet you got some thoughts about that, then why not send me a super thanks? It's just below this video right here. We can have a conversation about this because it does guarantee a response from me. And until the next time, you guys, laters.